In today's video, we are going to share our review of Bluehost VPS hosting plan. We're going to share what VPS is, why you might need one, and then we're going to do a walkthrough of how to set a plan up with Bluehost. Okay, so let's start with what VPS means. VPS stands for Virtual Private Server. Now let's briefly discuss the different types of servers and how you can think of them. So for the sake of this illustration, let's just imagine that a server is a physical computer. So there are shared servers, private servers, and dedicated servers. Shared servers share the resources on on a computer with other websites. Shared servers are great for beginners because there's not a lot of traffic that'll be going to your website at first. And when your speeds start to slow and you get more traffic, then it might be time to switch to a private server. A private server is just a portion of a server or a computer set aside for your own use. So there are still others using the same computer as you, but you have a dedicated part of the computer that is just for your use and no one else can use it. And lastly is the dedicated server, which is a complete server or computer for your use only. And generally, as you go up in the chain of command here, you're going to have more security and privacy features included. So why might you need a VPS and what would you want to be aware of? So with a VPS, you can modify some of the technical aspects to get better performance out of your server. And traditionally, this is not going to be something for beginners. So unless you have some technical background and know how to operate the server, or you hired somebody to help you, you might just want to stick with a shared server. Okay, so now that we've discussed the differences in the types of servers, let's talk about Bluehost and their VPS. VPS product. Okay, so just a little bit of background on Bluehost. Bluehost is one of our favorite platforms because of the seamless integration with WordPress. Bluehost was founded in 2003, so they've been around a really long time. Now, WordPress actually recommends three hosting plans to use, and Bluehost is one of them because of the seamless integration between Bluehost and WordPress. Bluehost also has a really great customer support team. They have 24-hour expert service if you need that. They also have great uptimes and hardware. Everything in Bluehost is up to date, and it's a really great reliable service to use. Okay, so go ahead and click on that link down below in the description and we'll kind of walk through here some of the different plans and offerings from Bluehost. Okay, so once you've clicked on that link down below, it should bring you to this page here. And if you scroll down, we get to review the standard enhanced and ultimate hosting plans here. But before we dive into some of the features of the plans, let's just scroll down here and you can see that 24 seven VPS hosting assistance is available with all of these plans like we talked about earlier. They actually have a number for you to call as well as you can chat with them online. Okay, so let's scroll down and and we can just kind of review a little bit more about what VPS hosting is for Bluehost. So the three things that they have listed here are multi-server management, access control, and root access. And if you scroll down a little bit further, here are some additional things that are included with your VPS hosting plan. You can host unlimited domains and websites. You have dedicated power. There's one simple dashboard that's super easy to use. You have unlimited bandwidth. You have that 24 seven VPS support like we talked about. And then you also get solid state drive or SSD. Okay, so these are just a couple of things that are included with all of the VPS plans. So let's just go up and look at the plans. Okay, so there's the standard, the enhanced, and the ultimate. Okay, so the standard plan is the first one. That is $31.99 per month for a 36-month term. After that 36-month term, it's going to renew at $81.99 per month. So just keep that in mind. This plan offers two gigs of RAM, two core CPU, and 120 gigs of SSD. All of the plans are going to have unmetered bandwidth, and the cPanel license fee is going to be included with all these. Now, if you're looking to get a little bit more RAM and storage, you're going to want to choose this enhanced option. This has four gigs gigs of RAM as well as 165 gigs of solid state driver SSD. The enhanced plan is $41.99 per month. After the 36 month term, that goes to $116.99 per month. And then lastly is the ultimate plan. This plan has eight gigs of RAM and this is the only plan with four gigs of CPU as well as 240 gigs of SSD. And the ultimate plan is $71.99 for the first 36 months and it renews at $144.99 after that 36 month term. Now just note also these are all for the 36 month term, which you'll see here in a second once we continue on. So for the sake of this video, let's just go ahead and choose the standard option here. Okay, so it's going to ask us to create our domain name now. Let's go ahead and do that. Once you've picked a domain that is available, you should see that you have added it to your cart here. So let's go ahead and enter our account information. And then you're going to want to enter your email address and a password as well. And if you scroll down a little bit further, we can review our package information here. Okay, so now that we're at the package information section here, let's just review our plan. So for 36 months at $31.99 per month, we get our VPS host plan. So for $11.51, that's what we're going to pay today. And we get a free year of domain registration. You can also add a couple package extras here. They don't have too many because a lot are already included here with this VPS plan, but you can get domain privacy protection for 99 cents per month. You can also get a single domain SSL for $3.33 per month. For now, I'll just leave the domain privacy protection on. Okay. So go ahead and go to the bottom here and enter your payment information. All right. And that's everything. All you have to do now is click submit when you're ready. Okay. So before we end the video here, 
episode, let's just go over a couple pros and cons and just sum up our thoughts on Bluehost as a platform for their VPS hosting service. So Bluehost is super easy to use and great for beginners. Their interface is very clean and it's a really seamless transition to use WordPress. In fact, we think it's the best platform to use WordPress with. Bluehost also has great speed, great uptime, and a great customer service support team. They have 24 seven expert care, like we said, so you really can't beat that. The Bluehost VPS plan is very user-friendly, but it also has great customization options if you need to use those to tweak performance. Now, the only downside about Bluehost is that it is a little bit expensive once you renew after the 36 month term. In the long run, a similar plan on Hostinger is probably a little bit more affordable. But other than that, Bluehost is a really great platform and we highly recommend it to all our friends. So that's all we have for you today on our review of Bluehost VPS hosting plan. Bluehost is one of our favorite platforms because of the great product that it offers. Great speeds, great customer support, and super seamless interface. We're going to leave a link to all the resources that we talked about today in the video down below in the description. Also, if you do choose to use our link to Bluehost, we do get a small referral fee at no additional cost to you. This really helps us keep creating free content like this for you. So thank you so much in advance. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see content like this in the future, please leave us a like and subscribe down below. And lastly, this channel is dedicated to providing you videos and tutorials like this one to help you build your first website. So thank you so much for watching. We wish you the best on your website building journey, and we will see you in the next one.